Mm -hmm. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Stop! What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Uh, then what do you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. When I want to be alone. Oh. Well, don't let me bother you. Go ahead and think. Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need to get your mind off your problems. Go see a movie. I hear Frankenstein's pretty good. Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air, and, and see, there's this wild storm going on, and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just got to see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore, and I never will. Don't give me that. You care. You still care about inventing things. <sighs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about help me out here? You're getting on my nerves, Crockett. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. Me? You care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Yeah. You. You did this to me. I did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Okay, I can work with that. I loathe you, Sonny Crockett. Or is that even your real name? Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You bastard. And all that time you spent building up my dreams telling me I was going to be a great scientist. Don't stop dreaming. You are going to be a great scientist. Your flattery doesn't work anymore. Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's what they said to Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, then Edna, now you. Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. My ideas, do you hear me? My ideas. Great Scott. I've got it. Got what? The solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. The mental alignment meter? No, no. My airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets. Not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning. The lightning. Suddenly the answer is clear. It came to me all at once. Like... Like a bolt of lightning? Exactly. Static electricity. Super ionized static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside the... What's this stupid thing doing on my head? Damn it. Yeah, you're, you're you again. Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> and the expo begins at 8. Oh, let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens.